Guys, ready? Should you show the guys where we are, Sky? It's lovely location. Ooh. Let it come down the steps. Lovely job. I do like these spots where I can let it go on the leash. She's uh, all tethered up there on the leash. Right, at the back we've got... We've got mountains. We're in the valleys. We are back in the valleys, guys. Look at that. It's a bit breezy out here. Yeah. Oh, I do love being up in the uh, up in the mountains, up in the valleys, the Welsh valleys. Absolutely stunning location, guys. Look at this. The sunshine is blessing us today. Lovely blue skies. Beautiful Welsh mountains all around me. There's sheep everywhere. And the valley runs right down there. It was a bit of a tight road to get in here. Most RVs or even vans wouldn't come down here. There's Christine sat in this lovely little lay by. I'll just walk back a little bit guys. Sat there in this lovely little lay by. There's my little baby down there. We've got beautiful views all around us. There's a long way road so it's a dead end this is. Can't go no further. We've got a little bit of a forest and a glade down A breeze and we've got mountains out the back as well. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Just over the back there we've got some cliffs. And there's a few um, abandoned Welsh villages around here. Uh, and there's a massive house. Uh, you can see that small abandoned homestead over there guys, there's quite a few which have been um, left to nature as such and over the back there, about a half an hour walk there is a four storey, I presume it's early Victorian or it might be even earlier building, it's just got the walls left and that looks really fascinating, it's absolutely massive we'll go and have a look at that as well there's Christine. You like it? Oh, she loves running free like this. On the on the leash, like I can't let her off the leash. Mind you, I don't think she'd run off now, but uh, I don't risk it. We've got a bit of a wetlands just down there. Looking over to those beautiful mountains. Look at those! Wow. I'm hoping to do a live one of my Sunday lives here. Totally pounds. And over that hill there. Just there, you all may be saying, well where's the water Steve, we know you like water. I've come away from the sea because it's a bit packed with the kids off on holidays now. Even though I do find remote places by the sea, I just felt a need to get back in the hills. I do love the Welsh hills. Right, we'll have a little meander to that stone wall there and we'll show you what's over there guys. There's Christine tucked away in this little valley. Absolutely glorious. Right, I'm going to show you now. Just uh, 30 seconds away from Christine. What's behind that mound there? Let's go and have a look.
there's Christine all on our own nice and remote not a soul in sight this is this is van life guys this is real van life on country country van life UK me and Sky got Bernard Cribbins playing in the background there I'll turn that down I'll get us copyrighted what a lovely chap he was and he's just passed away right said Fred <laughs> Oh, bless you, Bernard. What a great star he was, guys. Let's just turn that camera around. Sky sat up front there on the uh, captain's seat. It's an ideal location, this is, for Sky. Uh, she can roam. I've got her on the tether outside. I'll show her in a minute. She's tethered up. She can come in and go in and out the van as she pleases. This is such a remote spot. This is my type of, my type of camp, really, in my heart. It is absolutely stunning, guys. Just take them bins off so I can see what the uh, what the cameras do. I've sort of needed a bloody shave and all. I was rushing about this morning to get a new camp from the last one. And um, this road in here, guys, it was... I found it all on Google Earth again, as I find everything on Google Earth. Uh, you know me, it's... Uh, I don't do apps or part for nights or anything like that. Um... I tend to bypass all those to be honest uh, they're one or two of the camps I go to maybe log somewhere I don't know but uh, this place down in the valleys in the valleys we've moved to the interior of the Lynn Peninsula the Glen Peninsula in um, North Wales guys uh, I've come off the um, the um, seafront even though the camps are on on the seafront were quite quiet the ones that are on but it, it's a uh, it's starting to get a little busy here now around the, that particular area and up and down the coast with the kids off school and all that and everybody going on their jollies now. Uh, it's sun is lovely today. It was raining all day yesterday. But it is absolutely stunning today. What a location. This is every single window. I have got a vista. It is absolutely beautiful. That window, that window, out my door, bedroom window, even sitting on the loo, I can see a mountain. <laughs> not that you wanted to hear that guys but uh wow what a cracking place this is and um we'll see what there's some lovely walks here some lovely walks absolutely beautiful walks as i can see on the top of that mountain there there is a trig point so i may have a, a wander up there a little ramble up there with me me van pal sky right, sky hey there she is she's loving it absolutely loving it Bit warm for her she should be outside she keeps coming in and sitting in the front it's warm in the front the, the plonker she's just had a tea so she's all right she had a nice tea and it's got plenty of water so she's all good and dandy oh i love van life i love my life i am lucky though i'm only on a pension it's uh, only a cheap van you know anybody can do this when you get to my age what a way to live what wonderful people i meet too so it's one ended road there's no way it's it's a dead end behind me. You go turn around and go back to that bloody uh, bit of a maze to get out of here. But uh, I think that's just a guest house up there, so I should be good. There is a little sign down there, a little tiny sign in the corner, um, saying um, no camping. Camping to me is in a tent. But uh, if it said no camper van, I'd still stay here. You know, if somebody knocked the door, you move on. Of course you do. Who wouldn't? You'd only be silly not to. Wind of view, guys. That's my view for tonight with that lovely Welsh breeze in my face from my lovely bed. Sky's having a bit of a kip. She's having a lie down. She's been playing outside. There's views all around, right. Plenty of grass here for Sky to run up and down. I love these places, these remote spots. Reminds me a little bit of Sky, the Isle of Sky, where I camp up and I'm the only one here. Look at this. Not a car, not a soul, not a walker. No one in sight. That's our location there, guys. That little sign is just uh, down there. Tiny little sign, no camping. We've got this big lay-by here. It's a one-ended road. There's no further to go to my left here. Looking at that lovely view from Christine. And not a soul in sight. I've even got my own breakfast table. 
with a view to die for. It's so quiet. It is so quiet. All you can hear are sheep. And the odd tweet of a lovely songbird. There's got to be uh, raptors flying around these mountains. Honey buzzards might see a kite or two. It's absolutely love it. So I know where I'll be having a breakfast or a pint of Guinness. With that stunning view, guys. Beautiful. Love this lake. Help us protect nature and wildlife in this beautiful area by taking your litter home. Yep, take your litter home guys. Right, the actual name of this place guys, if I can uh, pronounce it. Gwimmy Strad Clin. I think you pronounce it Gwimmy Strad Clin. Clin, Gwimmy Strad Clin Lake. Uh, it's part of the Welsh Water Authority I believe. It's not a natural lake, it's a, a dammed lake for water. Walking back towards Sky now. Lovely flat park up as well, guys. Enough room for two, three vans. Nice and flat. Beautiful. There's bins behind me as well. I've got plenty of water on this board, but uh, that is fresh water there in the lake, so I can always take some of that and run that through in one of my filters. There's Christine looking glorious. And there's Sky. Beautiful little sky in the shadows. You right, Sky? You right, Bubby? Hey, where's Daddy going? Bye bye, Sky. <laughs> Just running down Christine, guys. Give you another vista from this side. And there's uh, all sorts of birds flying around everywhere. There you go. Just walking back, give you a pan of where we are. What a beautiful spot. It's another peach, it's another diamond. Christine has found us another beautiful place. Oh my life, we love Wales. We love van life. Please so come here, guys. Everybody's welcome. I wish you was all here with me. Lovely jubbly. Good morning, good morning. I think Sky's still asleep up front. He's not jumped on my bed last night. Uh, look out the window. These are my neighbours. Good morning, neighbours. Cows and sheep. Lovely jubbly. Bit of a grey day today. I was quite late by the time I got to bed last night. After the live show. Uh, went on for four hours last night, so thanks very much, guys. Lovely to have you all in again. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. Might have a, might have a little bit of a line this morning. No wind out there, so that's nice. The wind is open. It's nice and mild as well. Railway scores on the doors. Oh, at past six. 6.30 in the morning and it's uh, 17 degrees Lovely Right Let's get on with this bloody day shall we Oh, stay to me here Let's have a shower Cup of tea, kettle's on mother Let's see what today's going to bring, eh? Good morning Oh, got a lovely breeze blowing through the van Scores on the doors uh, it's just gone 20 past 9. It's a nice mild morning. A bit cloudy. All the clouds are on top of the mountains all around me. Uh, we've got 19 degrees inside. A little bit of a rain in the night. But I had a lovely peaceful night. Just watching all the, uh, all the animals waking up, all the sheep and the cows start to stir. Wow. 
wow, it's so peaceful here in this remote spot. It's a beautiful place. Quimmy Stragling, I think you say it like that, Quimmy Stragling. Have that breeze, he's not on the mic too much. What a glorious morning again. God, it's so peaceful. So remote and lovely. To show you all the uh, all the animals that are all still asleep. I just turn the camera around for you guys. All the little lambs are washed out to bleed. You can see all the mountains are covered in clouds at the moment. But it looks like it's going to be a nice day. Hopefully. We're always on top of that mountain, so all the dot, tiny dots of the sheep and the cattle up there. Absolutely beautiful. In the front there, having a little still having a morning kip. And just in that bush there about five minutes ago, no more than 15 metres from the van, was a honey buzzard sat on that bush looking for some prey to for his breakfast. Beautiful. We'll try and catch one later. We're going to go for a walk anyway, explore the area today. I shan't stay along because the signal's pretty poor and uh, I can't get none of my media up. We had a lovely live last night which was brilliant. Thanks guys, everybody that came in. Uh, went on for uh, four hours last night. Loved it. Got a nice cup of tea. My second one of the day. We'll crack on with the day and we'll see. See what we're going to do today, eh? Lovely job, like. Have a bit of an explore. Right, Sky, are you ready? She's had a breakfast. We're going to go for a little explore of this lovely area. Uh, so I'm not going to stay here tonight because the signals are not very good at all. I need to catch up with the media and all that stuff on YouTube and Insta, Facebook, uh, TikTok and all that good stuff. Uh, join me on TikTok as well. We're on TikTok now, uh, Country Van Life. Uh, UK so try and join me over there as well guys for little snippets of what I do during the day right let's get out there let's have a look around around this uh, lovely area before we move on later on this afternoon so we had a lovely night last night right let's crack on hello hello little lamb you're a youngster aren't you hey He's just a few months old. Beautiful. These beautiful views, guys. Absolutely stunning. In the Welsh Valleys. Hello, Giza. You right? Having a good day? They're all still half asleep by the look of it. Just chilling. Just relaxing. Just like we are. One or two burgers. <laughs> Oh, lovely scenery guys, you see Christine down there. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's what he thinks of me. Goodbye. <laughs> Up on the hill here, this guest house, it's also a, a tea room as well. The tea, coffee, cakes, ice cream. Lovely jubbly. Right. Let's crack on to this, uh, oh look at that, we'll crack on to this uh, big building, it's just down there somewhere guys, don't know where you can see it in the distance, the old slate workhouse. Oh, I love these walks in these remote places, there's birds flying everywhere, uh, some big hawks about as well, some raptors. Uh, I think they're honey buzzards. There's one that flew over my van this morning, which I missed with the camera. But uh, what a beautiful place. What a stunning place. I just like the quietness, the peacefulness, the serenity. It is stunning. I absolutely love spots like this. But uh, shine the signal's a bit poor, otherwise I'd stay a lot longer down there. There's Christine down there guys, there you can see her, lovely. Uh, oh, 
oh it's magical absolutely magical look at those mountains up there with the heads in the clouds like me my heads are always in the clouds my head is always in the clouds Here we are parked up guys what a beautiful little little glen here just have a meander down lovely little river running through here too look at that house wow do you think someone once lived there amazing eh? wouldn't it be nice to go back in time beautiful wow that is incredible absolutely stunning beautiful meandering river Welsh stream how glorious is that that is stunning Enchanted wood, beautiful. We're going to go up the steps to the slate mill. There we go. Quite a few select steps to get up here, guys. Oh, you can't imagine the activity around here back in the day. It was all hustle and bustle and machines and banging and clanking, people shouting. Well, that's a bit of a climb up. Beautiful. I'm out of breath now. That's where we was camped in that valley last night. Look at this, guys. Wow. Can you just imagine the activity that went on in here in the day? Back in the 1800s, I guess. What a magnificent structure. Just try and take yourselves back in time. All the people shouting, shouting orders. All the slate being broken up and sized up into the roof slates. That's what Wales is famous for, roof slate. Welsh slate. Going inside the building now. What a magnificent structure. Beautiful Welsh stone. Two stories, three stories he said. It had a loft as well. How fantastic is this? I think I can hear Sky barking in the background. Wow. Wouldn't it be nice just to go back in time? Uh, it looks like they used to add used to have a water mill to drive all the equipment. Blimey, is that footsteps in that stone? Oh, some, where someone's been grinding away. Perhaps the water mill, I don't know. I believe the water mill from this place is down at uh, Aberystwyth Museum. What a fantastic place. Look at those views all the workers had. Working for a penny. 100 hours a week. Slaving away, knocking the slate out. I am totally in awe again at our fantastic history, guys. Look at that down there. I think that's where the water mill used to be. Is that where the uh, shaft of the water mill was? What a fantastic place. Again, you wouldn't find this if you didn't come down this 
road that I found. Don't know what's down there. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's cold in here. Another gully way up there, look. Perhaps was that this is one of the water sluices, I don't know, to the mill. So they would have they would have had to have some sort of mill to drive the machinery, all the pulleys and everything. That's where the mill was located. But the two headstones here and the mill wheel was here. So I should imagine the mill wheel came all the way up here guys, driving the various cutting units to uh, cut the slice. Look at that. What a vista. You can see Christine. Right down there. Quite high up. Christine's just behind that tree down there past the Wow! How stunning! Beautiful Welsh slice factory or workshop. Let's get back. I can hear sky screaming. And that's a beautiful slate museum. Here it down at this beautiful camp they found on the northern Glim Peninsula. Winds hacking. Done in. There you go, guys. That's the amazing Yinish Yipandi slate mill. There's no history to this place at all, anywhere. So, uh, the van coming by. Catch you later. Let's have a cruise through this little homestead before we go. You can see there, all the bricks have been numbered. I wonder if they're going to dismantle it and put it up somewhere else as a historic building as such, over 100 years. Look at the slight uh, lintel across the door and the slight lintels across the windows. Wow. Here's the front door and the eaves to what would have been a thatched roof, I should think. What beautiful. It's just come out my front door. I'll have to get a door on there. It's a bit drafty of a night. And up there, guys, beyond the trees, you've got the, uh, the slate workshop. Wonderful. And over there is Christine. Let's crack on with the day, guys. It's destination. It's beautiful mill on the hill. Look at that, guys. That is amazing. It's a beautiful bridge as well. Lovely bloody jubbly. Till later guys.